Today I'm in Osceola County at Shingle Creek Regional Park. You can see Shingle Creek right behind me. It's a beautiful amenity here for the county, for the region. Um, however, it's funny because just a uh, short distance away is the hustle and bustle of US 192. All the neon and the businesses and everything that go along with that in the tourist corridor. Um, so, and you can also see the recreational trail that lies, it goes right underneath that bridge. The hope was, that because of the economic decline that a lot of the businesses experienced about 10, 15 years ago, um, the hope was that maybe ecotourism could uh, revitalize this area. And so what the county did in cooperation with the city of Kissimmee, with Orange County, and the city of Orlando, all four entities actually wrote a uh, pretty sizable grant through uh, Metro Plan Orlando, through the state of Florida, um, to actually uh, construct this recreational trail. Now, it starts at Lake Tohopakalaya, uh, right there at the city of Kissimmee, uh, passes through the airport property, all the way on the other side of that uh, US-192 over there, underneath the bridge, and then it continues on uh, to the north, and Eventually, it's hoping to get up into um, City of Orlando and Orange County. The problem is um, how to get over Osceola Parkway, which is actually the point of this project. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, the project uh, should uh, showcase something that says accountability or thrift or stewardship. In this case, it would be thrift. My idea when I was the park planner for Osceola County in conjunction with all my colleagues, I will give them credit because I wasn't uh, the only guy here working on this project. But um, our thought was, well, hey, if we've got to find um, this trail, you know, it's going to wind along uh, next to uh, Shingle Creek. It's going to go through pretty much undeveloped land. That's that's a no-brainer there. However, once it got to Osceola, Osceola Parkway, my thought was the place that it came out was right you know, nearby um, a toll plaza, the old style toll plaza for Osceola Parkway, where you had to, you know, slow down to 25 miles an hour in order to, uh, you know, pay your toll and then continue on, even if you had the transponder. My thought was eventually they might uh, re retrofit that to make it, you know, uh, the new style toll plaza where you can continue at speed. So if, you know, if and when they do that, my thought was, they could shift that toll plaza slightly to the west, we could, you know, as the parks department, we could help absorb some of their construction costs by constructing our um, trail over top of their facility, thereby, you know, saving them money, saving us money on a bridge construction, which, you know, what's that, $8 million or something like that to construct a bridge over a highway. So it'd be a feather in both hats, right? So that's the project today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of uh, the trail alignment and give you some idea of how that uh, facility looks now and then show some maps and, you know, and do my show and tell.